from Brian and Bud. I know we walked in there towards the end of uh, my position being not everybody was there. What was that scene like? Uh, emotional. I mean, it really was. Um, I mean, he's just he, – Coach Weaver's been awesome for Virginia Tech. Uh, you look at where – this entire program was in 1997 or whenever it was that he came to now, the facilities and and whatnot. He's been awesome from that standpoint, and he's uh he's been very very good to me. You know, I mean, when he came here, I was a I was a player here, and uh, he so I can he got a lot of the games, the away games, he would stand down the sidelines, and I'd go out there and snap or cover a kick or whatever. And, as soon as I come over, came over to the sideline, he'd always have something positive to say uh, to me, and, and uh, it's the old football coach in him coming out. And then, uh, ever since I've gotten into coaching, he's been very, uh, very supportive and, and very good to me, and has been a great resource. So I know I speak for the whole athletic department. We're certainly going to miss him, and, and uh, you know his family, the entire family is great, and, and uh, he's been great for Virginia Tech and, and great for me. Changing gears completely, uh, four rushing touchdowns. I had to feel pretty good considering the struggles you guys have had running the ball. Yeah, I saw uh, where Trey was talking about. His dad said that uh, <laughs> being down in Miami, I told him today, I said, well, heck, now we're playing your dad's alma mater, so certainly we could get eight this week or something would be nice. But um, it was good to get that going. You know, I mean, we were able to hit some uh, uh, some – boots on on the pass to DJ earlier in the game and some play action stuff and that opened up some of the things that we were doing in the running game and Scott did a nice job I thought of keeping Miami off balance with what we were doing in the pass game the run game both so there's no question it was uh it was fun to watch I mean the offensive line was moving people and displacing people that makes it easy as a running back uh Trey and JC were really locked in on what they were doing and then and just the entire you know the passion and the energy that our guys played with uh, as a football team and on offense was was really uh, fun to watch. It seemed, it seemed like, like uh, the wide receiver, the perimeter blocking was much better. Yeah. Um, did did that show up when you watched it? Yeah, I told you we worked on that during the off week. <laughs> that was the uh, one of the things we stressed. It just took a while, but they uh, they did a great job. I mean, they got after people. I mean, guys like Willie Byrne. I mean, I can't say enough about him. He barely he didn't know if he's going to be able to play, and not only is he out there playing on Josh's touchdown the pass that he broke those tackles. I mean, Willie decleats a guy from Miami and knocks him up in the air. Um, they did a great job. Got like Trey Evans on that play. I mean, Trey Evans, Josh, and we thought he was about to get tackled. Trey just came running through there and just dove and left his feet and flew through the air. He didn't touch anybody, but he distracted him enough where Josh was able to come out of there and run it. Just things like that. And, but all those guys, I mean, DJ was, was – uh, um, to quote my dad, getting after people, he flat got after you. I think is what he says. So um, he was getting after he was getting after people. Uh, Willie was, Josh was. I mean, they they you could kind of see everybody gaining confidence. Calvin was out there battling. Sam Rogers on on Dre's first touchdown run. He took their Mike linebacker and put him on his back. I mean, they. Uh, it was a physical game, and our guys certainly were physical Saturday night. Was there, was there more concerted effort to get uh, Trey? That's, was there more concerted effort to get Trey and JC? I, I don't know, more consecutive carries, more like an entire season. No, nah, not necessarily. I think it's one of those deals that uh, we can get something going early. Certainly, stay with it, and, and we kind of got in a nice mix. And a lot of those runs we were doing again, it's, it goes back to um, previous games. Some of them were reads where you know they were. Some of them were called runs. Some of them were runs where. Logan could throw the, you know, a bubble pass out there if the run wasn't there. Some of them were runs that Logan was reading, and um, uh, it just so happened that a lot, a lot of the balls were going to the tailbacks. But then we had some, we had a lot more called runs for him too, though, which was one of those deals that once we saw we were able to have some success with it, and we were play action pass, and we were naked booting. Um, that, that opened up those runs. Did you see 